Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. Please consider liking this video before we continue. That is so much paramount as that will be an assurance that you're supporting the work of this channel. Consider liking, commenting, and sharing this video. Now, Prophet Uwur is coming out to deliver and warn Kenyans and already revealing what he has been seeing, what he has done, and whatever he's going to do. When we look at the fight in Haiti, Prophet Uwur is saying that he is the one who brought and cursed the Haitians because they were devil worshippers. At the same time, when we look at the COVID-19 pandemic, Prophet Uwari is saying that he was the one who brought coronavirus and you saw the way people died because of the corona. So he is literally warning Kenyans that the way he has cast other countries wa Kenya mchungane na ye, and he can do whatever he can do to ensure that Kenya is cursed and Kenya is going to be in chaos the way we are watching things in Haiti. I want you to watch the video of Prophet Word, but before we do that, ladies and gentlemen, first thing, ensure you like this video. Like this video. When you like this video, you support this channel. I will appreciate you so much because of the good work. I want you to watch we, uh, the video of Prophet Uwar. Yeah. You have definitely seen that the Lord sent me to fight for Jesus. Yeah. To clean up the liars from the church. To clean up the lie and to restore the authority of the blood of Jesus. Okay. Okay. All of you can see that the Lord sent me to fight ferociously for Jesus. Nyote mnaweza kuona kwamba Bwana amenituma ili nipigane kabisa kwa ukali kwa ajili ya Yesu. To restore the beautiful church he built with his own blood. Kulirejesha kanisa la urembo alilojenga na damu yake mwenyewe. Bachara you may need the cloth to clean up your mouth is whiter than mine. Yeah. You get some water even I need even me I need. Umeja wanare. So in other countries, Katika inchi zingine, like Haiti, Kama Haiti, when I went there, I destroyed it totally until today. Nili totally. Uko, nili angamisa, nili kabisa hadi leo hii. Because of devil worship. Kwa sababu ya wabudu wa shetani. Other countries, inchi, I still do this. Inchi zingine bado nafanya haya. Like Kenya. Kama Kenya. Kenya, don't try me. Kenya musini jaribu. Please don't I make it. Tafadhali musini jaribu na wasihi. If I destroy you, I destroy you totally forever. Kama nitaharibu na haribu kabisa milele. Kama nitawaharibu. Kama nitawaharibu. Nitawaharibu kabisa milele. But for now, I'm giving you grace. Lakini kwa sasa, nina wapatia neema. I am the one that brought the coronavirus. Mimi ndia nilileta virusi vya corona. Look how many people die at my words. Angalia ni watu wangapi walikufa kwa maneno yangu ya kinywa. Let them sit down. Hebu waketi chini. Kenyans, we have listened to many prophecies. We've seen many words coming from men of God. But again some messages we usually don't understand and sometimes we don't want to analyze them because we don't have that assurance that he is God, God sent prophet or maybe reverend, bishop anyone that always proclaims about prophecy 
You saw what Pastor Ezekiel prophesied about what was going to happen. Election was going to be so peaceful. No one was going to expect a certain leader to be elected as the president. That person that was going to be elected was someone that was so underrated that cannot be the president. He even prophesied that the mountain will come out crying because they disrespected their own Urumege Kenyatta. They will come out crying seriously because the leadership that is going to be there will not understand them totally. That was the prophecy of Pastor Ezekiel. We watched about the prophecy of Pastor Tim Wangi. Pastor Tim Wangi said that this government was to have a double grace to manage and govern this country. And even he said that 13th parliament, 13th parliament that we are having now was going to be chaos, crisis, and also this was going to be a very disturbing parliament. And for that, we are seeing at least some leaflets of this prophecy reflecting to what we are seeing today in terms of the 13th parliament we are having now. They are so disturbing. They don't know anything. There is a lot of crisis there. These people are literally um, damaging the rule or rather the function they were given. I think that is the good um, language I can describe it, uh, I can describe this 13th parliament. But a lot of worries are coming at a time that you will find that a lot, a lot of these prophets saying what usually come from their mind. But not forgetting that again, as much as we are a blessed nation, the issues that even if they will say, sometimes you can realize and say that, no, this person is just saying whatever he can say so that he can attract the attention of Kenyans. But some individuals, ukweli mungu huwa anawatumia sana. Mungu anawatumia kupatia na message, you know. When look at the issue of Pastor Ezekiel, when he said before even election, we saw it. Another thing, when look at the mountain, coming out to regret their choice we are seeing today about the Pastor T. Mwangi's prophecy about the 13th parliament and the government having double grace to govern the country, it is the truth. Now, when you look at the prophecy of Prophet Owori, you will understand that this man, I don't know how you can judge him, but I don't want to judge him. But he's saying that he was the one who brought the destruction in Haiti. So those who are fighting in Haiti, it was because of Prophet Uhur. That is what he said. That he is the one who destroyed Haiti. And that is why Haiti is in chaos and violence. The same to coronavirus. He's claiming that he's the one who brought coronavirus. Ladies and gentlemen, at the same time he's saying that if Kenya will not change, then, then he will not spare Kenya. At Kenya, he will do whatever he can do. That is what Prophet Wari is saying. But is there something that Prophet Wari has said and has come to be fulfilled? Is there any prophecy that can be substantiated that what is said and has been uh, finalized and we are seeing it. I don't want to judge. It is your judgment. You can give, you can have your judgment and your opinion because Kenyans are really asking themselves if Prophet Wari is the one who brought violence in Haiti at the same time is claiming that he's the one who brought the coronavirus. Can he destroy Kenya? 
Because, again, some people are complaining that a prophet is not to destroy, but to save. Is he saving or destroying? Because at the same time he's saying that, he's saying that he's praying for us, for a grace. He's praying for grace in this country. That our country should have a grace. Ladies and gentlemen, what do you think about the prophecy of prophet word? Drop your opinion at the comment section below. Otherwise, thank you so much because of your great support. Please consider subscribing, liking, commenting, and sharing this video. Bye-bye till you meet on another video.